Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Um, mind the outfit today, um, <laughs> just mind it. I hope you're all doing well. Anyway, I thought I would do a quick altar haul for you because um, I don't really do hauls as much and I've got a lot of reviews coming up and um, but I just thought you might be interested in things that I picked up. There's some repurchases and nothing really fancy. You've probably all seen them already on YouTube. But I thought I'd share them for you in case you, you know, were interested. So, um, you might have seen in my January favourites that I really like the Maybelline Age Rewind for the under eye. And I bought it, not in a specific colour, but I bought the neutraliser. And um, I could get away with just having the neutraliser kind of like clean up underneath my eyes. And I, had, I don't need to really put another... Um, like concealer on top the neutralizer was just enough because I don't have too much of a dark circle thing going on right now so I really like that so I thought I'd pick up the Maybelline um, foundation and it was kind of hard to figure out what color you are considering they don't really do samples that's the one thing that I like about home you know back in England at Boots and stuff like that they have the tester out there um, here you kind of just have to put your skin along and kind of match it with the pictures which aren't very precise at all but I kind of just winged it and I got 130 buff beige, which is slightly light for me, um, but still wearable. And if I just bronze up where, how I normally do anyway, it kind of just goes. And I like it, but not as much as my Giorgio Armani foundation or my Chanel foundation or even my um, Bourjois Healthy Mix serum foundation. So um, I'd give a pass on this, but if you want something very light for school, that's good. Um, just picked up an Allure magazine because I like Zoe Deschanel. Um, I don't know, she's got really beautiful blue eyes and she wears gorgeous red lips all the time and I love red lipstick. Then I just got Batiste. I got the original formula. I really, really like the, um, it's like a tiger print one and it's like a volumizing one. I don't know, I picked it up from Boots and I really wish I picked up another one because they don't have that here. And I love that smell I loved how it did wonders for my hair. So I'm hoping the original is just going to be just as well minus the smell and the cute packaging. Then I picked up this, which is kind of like a really late buy. I mean, everybody has this already. It's Jade is the New Black, which is, you know, the one that they say is just like the Starbucks green color. Um, and I picked this one up because I just love this color. And OPI's come out with another one called OPI. Do not blame OPI or it's not OPI. It's something like that, which is pretty much this color, but a little bit lighter. And I put them two together, and you can see a very slight difference, but I was just more to drawn I was more drawn to this one. And I just really want to drink a Starbucks <laughs> and hold this. Really sad. Um oh yeah, this. Um I picked up the Alme oil-free eye makeup remover pads. I use a Clinique tail take the day off balm and I really enjoy that but um, to take off my makeup but sometimes I want something a little bit more on my eyes um, and they have a bigger one which with about 80 pads I believe um, that is five dollars and this one which wasn't that many it's only 15 pads for a dollar 20 and I didn't want to buy the bigger one just because I don't know how I'm gonna like it and it's kind of nice that they do these kind of smaller ones so you can kind of test it out if I really like it then I know I can buy the other one and it's quite an affordable um, eye makeup remover you know compared to like the Lancome by Facile and stuff like this and more easily attainable so I thought I'd give that a try. So I might do a review on that. And I think I'll do a review on the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm compared to the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish. Because I think those two are, you know, have the same idea, but they're different consistencies. And I just want to, like, maybe let you guys know um, because it's really important for people who love beauty. And then finally, I picked up my first Bare Minerals quad. And I got it in The Truth. And it's just because it was very neutral brown colors that I really liked. And um, I saw a, um, a tutorial that Tiffany D did on YouTube and I loved it. And so I picked it up and I want to copy what she did. <laughs> and I really hope this is the one that she got. Like I'm kind of like, no, I think this is the one that she got. So I'm really excited to try that because I like their loose powders too. Um, but they're just kind of like a little 
annoying but I loved how slim the packaging is and I just love that I could really get away with just having this on a weekend trip or um, just on holiday this would be fine plus like a colored eyeliner and I'd be good to go so yeah that is all that I bought um, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video bye